Hi guys, Ryu here with Narrative for Blender and I want to show you a few things about lighting, rendering and photoshopping your renders. I might split into a few videos because it might be too much to cover in one. We are in cycles at the moment, I'm going to switch to EV so it's going to be a bit faster. Now the framing, it's up to you basically but the reason why I frame it like that is because he's looking to the right, I wanted to leave some space on this side, light's going to be coming from the right and the left side is going to be a bit more dimmed. So when you set up lights the first thing you need to think about is not the object but the light. Look at the light and shadows, do not look at the object, Yeah, it's very important. Once again, do not look at the object, look at the light and shadows, Yeah, it's crucial. Otherwise, it's gonna be a mess. Well, let's create a new light because uh, because why not? So let's add quad sphere here, and then I'm going to go with hard ops. So Alt M and Alt Two. Whoops. Um, Alt M and Alt Click to add uh, emission material, and I'm gonna change color of this to kind of like bluish, really light. Actually, you know what? Maybe red is gonna be more interesting. So let's grab uh, let's grab the uh, object and increase the value and maybe make it darker. Or right, see how it's gonna look. So I just want to add it into the uh, inside of the iris, just to add some you know like a focal point on the face. Yeah, that's much better. So you see, the eye is gonna get drawn to the eye is gonna get drawn to the face immediately because of the lighting. Also, the image is gonna be bluish in the background, so the red's gonna just you know sort of pop. Now it's a little bit too high in my opinion, but the face is so tall that it's kind of difficult to. Uh, it's quite difficult to actually frame him properly. I don't want to go too low and cut the jaw. I want to give him a little bit of space under the jaw. Um, in addition to lighting, I'm uh, probably going to spill a few composition composition tips. We drawn to faces, so we will think about it as a face. So what you want to do is just give him a bit of a breathing space on the right side, on the bottom. Eyes a bit high, but I think that's fine. Anyway, we could actually give another sort of lighting effect in here. So let's turn this off. Um, somewhere around this cage here. By the way, Bevel is um, causing us grief here. I think it's just too big. There we go. Um, I'm going to try to insert some loops here, but I see that doesn't really work well. So we just simply select these faces manually and let's grab it to local and do something like this and insert them. Did it work the way we intended? Kind of. And I want to actually give it a different glow. So let's create another sphere. Right? Alt M and this one. No, this one. The other one, right? There we go. I make it bluish. You know, different color and bright. Add it to, to this place. So plus and add a mission and assign. Now let's see if it's not too strong because I don't want it to draw too much attention. I want attention to be to the to go to the eyes, but uh, this would sort of like you know bounce back and sort of um, balance the um, uh, the eyes at the top. Besides, people when look at photographs or whatever, they just drawn to saturated warm colors first. So you know, and these are eyes. So this is the first place you're gonna look to look at but then you're gonna bounce back down to the area of contrast which is you know between this bright and dark so you're gonna get locked in this area which is fantastic drop some text in there you got a triangle triangles are quite powerful forms in uh, in composition now we're gonna have to be a bit careful with the with the chin because chin is gonna pull a lot of light but i think we're gonna sort it out so let's go back to our shader editor and switch to world and let's see how strong our um background is well let's go to 0 0.6 uh, yeah it might be a bit too strong uh, maybe 0 0.5 hmm maybe still too strong what i want to achieve yeah that's perfect what i want to achieve is something that's actually really dim like a you know dusk sort of lighting right 
and uh, oh, by the way let's see the direction of the light because it's quite important so my light is coming from over there more or less which is perfect right and so that will work well for us now we will need to add some lights to the scene okay so i'm going to click on lights you can create a new folder here by clicking right clicking and adding new folder new collection and i'm gonna drop um an area light okay my main light so i'm gonna start with main light and that's important you should start with main light and then start adding lights around it because if you add too many lights at, at, at the start at the beginning you're gonna get confused if you're not actually you know like um don't have experience with lighting you're gonna get you're gonna get confused so let's add one light and rotate it like this Add it somewhere here and I want it to be coming from the top okay so somewhere here right and then we can grab this one and sort of drag it on the face like that perfect and let's see how this will look I think this is too too narrow so something like this and probably gonna have to increase the strength of it so let's see let's go here grab this area light and let's increase the power of the light and there we go now you see that it's all peachy but we're getting a lot of light on the chin right so what we could do is move this light a bit to the front so turn it like that just make sure the light doesn't obstruct the uh it's not in the ca way of camera so it's not in the lens like here it might be okay but uh, i will need to check how it renders but um let's rotate it like this you see that when i rotate it look at the chin see the reflection changes it's becoming because the angle of the light changes right so now it's a little bit too straight, um, so I'm going to actually move it a little bit fo um, back and turn it like this. need to find like a golden middle, you know, like a place where and the lighting is good and, and it's not in the camera and I'm not getting harsh reflections and so this is pretty cool. This part is really bright, but you know what, you can't have everything, so I um, can always adjust it in Photoshop or you could for example you know drop a different material on this one but we could just you know bring it down in photoshop that's okay so let's see this light is um maybe a bit too strong maybe light is fine now i'm gonna bring this light on the other side rotate it right on z and let's see here let's go back to our lamp i mean our camera so control zero let's grab this light so it's this one right let's uh rotate it on z like that bring it a little bit closer now if you bring the light closer and make it really big it's gonna be very soft the closer you bring the light the bigger it's gonna become right so if you will bring the light closer it will not change the size of it the light's gonna become uh, softer because there is a um, the relative area of the light in comparison to the area that you are lighting is uh, is large that's why sun even though it's huge in reality it's very small in the sky it's considered a small small source of light that's why you have harsh shadows and also you have soft shadows on the overcast day like in this HDRI that we are using at the moment okay so the plan here is to have the main light be much stronger than the the kick light which is the light on the left side now we need some hair light and hair light could be achieved with um with a spotlight so you grab a spotlight and move it to the back and then move it a little bit up Rotate it on X, um, zoom it out, and then let's change the angle to smaller, 
and let's make it softer and uh, bring oops bring it up okay and let's try this so let's see it's just behind the camera so I think it would be better if it was actually at an angle so I'm going to move it so I'm going to I'm going to um, drop the um, cursor to select it change pivot point to the cursor move this one on X axis and then simply rotate it on Z like this perfect so now let's see let's see what we got now of course I'm gonna have to move it up and increase the uh, uh, probably make it a little bit smaller actually you know what maybe not maybe I might want to get some spill on shoulders so let's make let's make it stronger Long, wrong slider here this one and see what we get see we're gonna get this kind of like a halo effect behind him right so let's make it bigger and let's see there we go now we're not concerned with the floor the floor doesn't concern us at all this one is a little bit too strong so what we're gonna do is move it to the left and rotate it on z so or z and the helmet's gonna basically dull it down for us i think it's still too bright so you know what let's bring it a bit more towards this side and rz and like this yeah perfect now we get too much reflections on the shoulder which means we need to actually decrease the size of it and it's gone perfect now let's see let's see how we're looking because you know really i'm really interested how how this light actually looks it's a little bit too too weak now that's probably better let's go here and see this light probably getting some spill on a on a chin yeah see on the left side on the right side i mean so unfortunately we're gonna have to dull it down or maybe change the uh the size of it a bit let's see now still getting some reflections fine so let's move it and let's actually rotate this light to the left until this shadow here disappears okay so now what we need to do is turn on um, the noise in data so let's let's see that's already turned on so we need to what you need to do is uh, go here to compositor and use notes and then you need to shift i and add um the noise and glare and we also need to turn on the um, um this one the noising data i gotta turn it on here otherwise it's not gonna work okay all right so let's stay in cycles 250 actually you know what let's go for 300 why not let's enjoy our life um the settings here uh, you might want to copy them especially if you have decals you want to go with transparent transparency and transmission at least at full otherwise it's gonna be uh, the alpha the, the transparent areas on decals they're gonna actually render as noise so it's gonna look like crap and other than that it's cool i think small one for uh, the dimensions are cool um tiff is okay um i like good quality and 16 bits gonna give me a lot of tunnel shift so it's perfect now let's go back here and see now we're still getting a lot of attention on the chin and then i wonder why is this this is not from this one right no perfect okay so i can already see that before i finish rendering that this part here is way too dark okay so despite having the kick light we are having some really deep shadows and it probably is caused by the angle so oh the light is out of position that's why so that's the problem yeah so let's switch the pivot point to individual origins and kind of position it like that and now let's see what we're gonna get in uh, in cycles it still is dark you see in here so the way to fix this right see this area here it's really dark i want to open it up I could put another light but you know to be honest easier way to do it it's just gonna be adding a reflector so reflector will reflect um this light back on the subject so let's go to front view and let's make it larger and 
we're gonna add some regular material to it so just new and change it to white probably gonna be too bright so, but it's okay we're gonna fix it later so let's turn it around and let's go here um let's lower it down and let's go to camera because i want to see what the hell i'm doing and now you see that if i turn this plane on and off see that the reflection this plane reflects this light back on the subject so that's what we want we want to bounce now we want to bring this bounce closer right but if you overdo it we can actually even angle it like this to open all the shadows up and we're gonna have to make it a bit darker to you know see that's without any light because black is gonna absorb all the light and we can pump some light back into it you don't want to overdo it because you know you want this right hand side of the of the image be brighter so we can actually go ahead and render it now see what we're gonna get that's much better you see and i kind of like this because you know i got some nice um glow here on the shoulder that comes from the right side i could use some glow on the right shoulder too but um we could actually do that get some rim light on the uh, on the behind the subject too some kind of a glow i suppose we could do that just to be thorough but uh it looks pretty decent it looks pretty decent actually i think we can work with this there is some problem in here but this is not shading related it's uh material related uh same as here and here it's simply it's it's just a metal um and I'll tell you in a second what it is. Let's go to shader editor and it's this one. Simply turn it off and it's gone. So we've gonna re-render now. It should be fine. Wrong window. This one so see these these areas here? Now if I re-render they're gonna be gone. Hopefully. Let's hide this and let's bring it back in. There you go, see? So, you always have to play with materials if you have some problems because you might think that it's a shading issue, but in fact, it's your material setting. This one looks really decent. I like it. It's very mellow. It's a little bit dark. I could actually increase a bit um, the ambient light. So, let's see. I'm going to pump ambient light a bit more because you see. I'm rendering always with the with the Photoshop in mind, okay? And we're gonna be doing Photoshop in the other video, in the next video. So, a follow-up video, right? So, I'll show you how they just basically retouch this image very quickly to, to get to where I want, more or less. But I can already see that this one is a little bit too dark. So, I'm gonna pump it to something like 0 0.45 and see what this is gonna get me. Because, you see, if I'm gonna go to... Um, too dark on it, right? I'm not gonna have any more room to maneuver in Photoshop. See, that's much better. It's much more open. I like it. It's a very mellow sort of um, undefined image. Yeah, with with a bit of uh, stronger light on this side, it's perfect. There's a bit of a halide on the shoulder, which matches the one on here in brightness. So it gives you some kind of a, like an anchor to bounce. Okay, so we're almost done here now. The compositor is going to inject the lighting, bloom and the noising. This is our final image. I think it looks fantastic. It's brilliant for editing. It's just perfect. This one is a little bit too bright on the bottom, but we can select it and just, uh, you, you know, darken it down. I'll show you how to do it in Photoshop in the next video. But when you render, right, the most important thing is to consider your composition, okay? Um, in terms of guiding eyes along the image, okay, and one of them is um, brightness and you know contrast of, of elements, um, warm colors, you know, cold colors, saturation, etc. Right. So you want to you you want to make the image look as um, as balanced as possible and as least awkward to look at as possible. Thanks for watching. Drop us a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and I'll talk to you in the next one.